What is going on guys, Mitchcat is here, coming back with another Forza Horizon 5 money glitch that is the best current glitch after the recent patch that came out around 24 hours ago or within 24 hours ago and I'll also be talking about the new best and quickest way to convert skill points to super wheel spins as I'm sure a lot of us know considering the Willys Jeep and the Toyota Super Mark 5 methods were both recently patched. But guys, I'll be getting right into it, but if you want to stay up to date with any further videos related to this patch or just future money glitches, tutorials and giveaways, be sure to like the video and subscribe with notifications on. It really helps out the channel, it only takes around 3 seconds and would also keep you all up to date with those videos. And by the way, if you want to check out any of our modded accounts or credit packs at MitchCatus.com, feel free to go ahead and do so, there will be a link in the pinned comment in the top of the description below. But now we'll be getting right into it. So guys, as I'm sure a lot of us know, the AFK glitch was also slightly altered in the recent patch. However, there are two racing events I'd still recommend doing it on, one being the Lost Jardines Circuit, and the next being the Goliath. We're going to head over to the Goliath, guys. I've gone ahead and made some blueprints specifically for this AFK glitch, even that work after the patch, based on some slight adjustments I made. So let's go ahead and enter an event. It's the same overall concept. You just want to go solo, and all of my tuning uh, code will also be in the pinned comment in the description. But we're just going to be starting off with the one lap. Variant. So pick the Lamborghini SS2 Elemento, Forza Edition, you can use other cars too like the BMW X5 M Forza Edition, cars of the McLaren Senna, and even cars of the Pagani Huara BC Forza Edition. Make sure you guys difficulty settings the exact same as mine, you'll have braking, assisted, steering, still auto steering, and I recommend having shifting on automatic. My uh, blueprints all automatically set on unbeatable, meaning you guys get bonus credits for coming first, even though there's no AI in the race. And overall, the glitch still works very similarly. So pretty much you just want to have something on the accelerator, whether you're holding it down using an elastic band, or if you're on PC and you have something on your W key or some sort of bind that's going to keep your accelerator constantly going, that's all that's really required and involved with this. Now, of course, it's fairly simple to use. If you're on a controller or you're on Xbox and you find that your controller is turning off due to, uh, due to inactivity, I recommend you guys plug it into your Xbox after you take out the batteries and also try having a Spotify podcast or something like that running as it'll make sure it doesn't go to sleep and it maintains or at least it stays on. But overall, the process is fairly similar. I have found that with the new adjustments they made in the recent patch, the turning is not quite as good, which is why I also recommend you guys use this blueprint. Considering my blueprints are actually in wet weather mode, a lot of people don't realize this and you might think that wet weather mode is worse because your car will uh, theoretically slip out or actually slide out a lot easier. However, the wet mode on the racing or on the tarmac actually makes it so that the automatic AI breaks a lot faster and has a lower chance of turning off or slipping out. One thing that is definitely apparent with this upgraded glitch after the patch is that the car turning is just not anywhere near as good. It's much more likely you guys might slip out, you might slam into a tree or a rock, and after, let's say you had it running for 50 laps, you might find that it wasn't even working. So one thing I would recommend if you guys find that you're struggling and your car is actually turning off or slamming into trees, rocks, and isn't working perfectly, I'd recommend only tying the elastic band around the controller that keeps the accelerator down around 75%. So a little bit less, so not full throttle. And although your lap times will be slower considering your car won't it be at top speed, it's going to mitigate issues of slipping out or actually slamming into rocks, etc. And ensure you guys are able to use the glitch as effectively as possible. Now there are two primary locations you guys can do this at. Like I said, the Goliath or Lost Jardines Circuit. I would say the Goliath, the full length around 10 minute laps, is definitely more profitable long term. Well, let's say if you're doing an 8, 9 hour, 50 lap race, you're going to make more money, XP, X skill points, etc. However, Lost Jardinia Circuit is more efficient short term as you can complete more laps in a shorter period of time, which pays slightly less per lap, but you're doing a higher volume of laps. However, if you want to leave your PC running for overnight, let's say 8, 9 hours, the Lost Jardinia Circuit being a 50 lap is only around a 4 hour event, if not less, whereas the Goliath is around 9 hours, and that's where I say, long term the Goliath is going to be more profitable. But it's up to you guys, just use what you prefer to use, and that's pretty much all i got to say. Each 50 lap race will easily get you around 800 skill points, 25 lap around 400, so I'll be talking about how to convert these skill points to super spin shortly, once I show you guys the end of this race. As you guys can see, I'm coming up towards the end of one lap. It's going to take around 5.5 to 6 minutes on average, so it seems to be slightly slower than beforehand. But chances are in the coming days, I'm going to make a much better blueprint, so subscribe to stay tuned for that. By the way, guys, it's definitely still an effective glitch you can use, and obviously quite a good alternative to the barrel roll glitch, which I'm sure a lot of us know was actually recently patched, and was before a very good skill point and overall money-making glitch. But guys, coming towards the end of lap one, and you're going to see the rewards. So as you guys can see, 35,000 XP in a one six-minute lap, that's definitely very effective. But now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to convert all the skill points you get from doing these laps into super wheel spins extremely easily and quickly. 
Now, as I'm sure a lot of us are aware, the previous method that was usually through the Willys Jeep or the Toyota Supra Mark V to convert skill points to super wheel spins has been patched and the perks have been removed from those cars and here is a new way to do it. So an auto show or you can buy from the car collection, which I'll show you guys in a section, uh, but in a second, but just for simplicity, you go Pontiac and here it is guys, the Firebird Trans AM GTA 1987. The car costs only 25,000 credits, so it's very cheap credit wise. And there is another perk. Now this perk is more expensive. This isn't a better uh, version than the Willys Jeep, but since the Willys Jeep was patched, this is the current best option that I've found so far. And if I do find a better one, I'll make an updated video. But pretty much guys, you wanna back out and let's go garage, head job grades and tuning, and I'll go in and show you the Karma Street perks. It's gonna cost you um, around 13 skill points, so one, uh, two, you guys can see the Super Bowl Spin perk is in the top left. This is three skill points, and then it's going to cost you another 11. So it's definitely a pretty effective method, around 14 skill points, sorry guys, for one Super Wheel Spin. Now that's the best way to do it right now. If you guys are getting around 800 skill points in an overnight AFK glitch, that's a lot of Super Wheel Spins. Hundreds you can still get with this glitch. And of course, guys, the best way to do it, or the best conversion strategy to be able to buy these quick is if you guys actually go to the Pontiac in the car collection screen, you can see there's a lot quicker to buy than on the auto show. We have to wait for the whole animation. If I go to Pontiac, you can pretty much go over and buy, let's say, five of these in around five seconds and easily go ahead and redeem them for their perks. One thing I also recommend guys with this glitch or with opening Super Wheel Spins in general, go ahead and buy all the clothing items possible. Now I'll briefly show that I don't want to spend too much effort on this. So I've made a whole video to it, um, but I want to get to the point. You pretty much can actually go and when you go to customize your character in this section right here, if you buy all the clothing items that are possible, it costs around four to five million credits, but it's definitely a worthwhile investment. It's going to remove all these items from the actual Super Wheel Spin loot pool, meaning instead of getting a bunch of pretty much useless clothing items, you're gonna get way more credits, way more cars, etc. I've actually used this, I made a specific video about it and found that I'm getting way more credits, way more rare cars, and the only clothing items you'll see and actually be able to get from Super Wheel Spins are ones that are very rare, and although they still might not be good, you're gonna get a lot more credits than usual, guys. This is one thing I'd recommend. That's basically gonna wrap it up for this video. Hope you all did enjoy. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel with notifications on. But that's gonna wrap it up. Good luck using this glitch. Let me know how effective it is. And guys, couldn't let this slide. Fourth wheel spin or so in, got a Lamborghini Sesto Elemento 4th edition. I'm probably going to give it away in my Discord, there'll be a link down below.